Hi everyone, welcome to Friday Facts About Real Estate. I'm Beth with Ramen Home Sales, and today's topic are the three advantages of owning a home. There are a lot more than just three advantages, of course, but we're just gonna touch on three to get you started with today. So the first one, and what I think is the most important, is owning your home lets you leverage your money through equity in that home. What equity is, is the difference between how much you, your home is valued at, your market value of the home, and what you actually still owe on the home. So as an example, say you have a home that you just purchased or you just sold for $400,000, and you owe $300,000 on a mortgage. That $100,000 difference is the equity in the home. That's basically the cash you can get back out of the home. So one of the most common ways that equity is built is the, the minute you buy the home, unless you're getting a 0% down VA loan or one of the um, you know programs that helps an FHA buyer with zero down, uh, you're going to put money down on that home. And so whether it's a 3.5% FHA loan or um, if you're getting a conventional and putting 20% down, that 20% you put down is equity. So on that $400,000 example, you're putting down $80,000. That's equity in the home, okay? Um, another way that a lot of people don't really think about equity building is actually just in the market appreciation. That home's value is going to go up an average of three to 4% per year. And that's kind of the national average. In this area, um, Pierce County, kind of Kitsap, Thurston, King, you know, Snohomish, we've been going up more like seven or 10% year over year for the last few years. So in an appreciating market, even at the base of 3% increase in value, you're looking at that same $400,000 home having about $12,000 gained in equity, just because the market's going up and that home you purchased can now be sold for you know, $412,000. So over five years, you know that can be significant. You're up to the $50,000, $60,000 of equity range. So that's one really good way of building equity. It's almost like a forced savings plan because it's a lot easier to get, break it down. $12,000 at that example is $1,000 a month. How hard is it to actually save $1,000 out of your paycheck every month and put it into a savings account? And that's where a lot of people use that forced savings to purchase a bigger house or in a different neighborhood You know, after five, six, 10 years. So um, that's one of the biggest advantages of owning your own home. Another reason um, owning your home is advantageous is that there are still tax benefits available for homeowners. And so the most common are the property taxes can usually be deducted as well as the interest that you pay on your mortgage. I will say I am not a tax advisor and you need to check with your tax person because those laws do change. And I believe they just changed two years ago. I think it was two years ago. So check into that. Some of those things might not be as deductible or maybe a smaller percentage of them, but, um, Another benefit along that same lines is that if you pay that mortgage down, you know, year after year and don't tap into that home for its equity and pull that cash out, eventually you own that home free and clear. And so that almost acts like a retirement plan. It's part of your retirement planning. Eventually you own that home free and clear. So a third advantage and probably one of the most popular ones, especially for people that live in apartments, is that there are no restrictions as to what you can do to fix up your home. You own it. You know, you can paint walls whatever color you want to. You can add a deck off the back. You can add an extension if you wanted to. So those are things that obviously in an apartment you can't do. You know, oftentimes you can't even paint an accent color on a wall. And definitely even if you're renting a home, from someone, do you really want to go to your expense to maybe add a deck off the back or something like that, fix it up while you're there, that's money you won't get back. Um, so I hope that was helpful. Those are three advantages to owning your home.